Okay, I wanted to make a video of my new uh, diagram of the wireless power transmitter and I wanted to go over it to make it as clear and as easy as possible to understand. So here we go. Uh, the circuit's going to start off with the Slayer circuit or the, the transmitter is going to start off with this Slayer circuit. It's going to take a DC battery and turn that DC power supply into a pulsating DC in this L uh, in this coil of wire here as I have marked as L1 and what this pulsating DC what it is it's uh, is it uh, as it pulsates its direct current it makes a magnetic field uh, expand and collapse as the DC current pulsates that I have shown here as a dotted line and what this does in the L2 coil is it makes it doesn't make another DC current pulsate but it makes as the magnetic field grows or expands into this coil it makes the electrons move in one direction and as it collapses it makes the electrons move in the uh, in the other direction or this this uh, pulsating DC current from the Slayer exciter is going to make a alternating current in the L2 coil so if, if you can understand that so we're gonna have DC turned into pulsating DC and the pulsating magnetic field in response to the pulsating DC is going to induce a alternating current in L2 from the pulsating DC okay so that's where I'm going to get the signal this is the signal that I want to send out which is the pulsating DC that is the radio signal that we're going to be transmitting but in order to increase the signal the power in the signal we need to turn it into an AC uh, signal first and that's how you do it with uh, with this uh, set up here with it so it's going to be a Slayer circuit and then the Slayer circuit is going to lead it into a transformer circuit that makes an alternating current from that pulsating DC current okay so after it becomes a pulsating DC current or I'm, I'm sorry after it becomes an alternating current from the pulsating DC current we are then going to increase the amplitude of the signal the frequency the voltage and the power of the signal and the way that's done is it's done with vacuum tubes. The vacuum tubes were was the uh, critical uh, junction points in this uh, transmitter outline that I uh, didn't include in my last uh, uh, outline that I drew up. But uh, it makes a lot more sense now once, uh, once you uh, understand that we're taking this pulsating DC current and in order to increase the power of that pulsating DC current it has to be turned into an AC and then once it's AC we can then send it into a amplifying tube that takes the AC and amplifies it turns it into a uh, 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 increases the amplitude of the uh, AC signal and then we take a DC generator that feeds the DC into a oscillating tube that changes that DC current into a high frequency oscillating current at several hundred thousand cycles per second and once you have the high frequency and the amplified signal you then send those two into what's called the modulator tube the modulator tube combines this the high frequency oscillating signal with the um, alternating current amplified signal and turns it into a high frequency oscillating or a high oscillating alternating current radio signal and since it's still an alternating current radio signal we want to turn it back into a 
DC pulsating signal. And we're going to do that by sending it through some more vacuum tubes. But at the same time, we're also going to take high voltage AC and we're going to increase the power in the signal again that makes it for a high voltage uh, amplitude modulating radio signal that's now pulsating DC now instead of an AC. So we went from pulsating DC to AC. Once it's in the AC format we can then step up the power, step up the frequency, step up the voltage and then once the power frequency and voltage has been stepped up we can then turn it back into a pulsating DC current when it's in a pulsating DC current again it's going to be sending out oh well once it's a pulsating DC current again then we send it up through the antenna the antenna then is uh, well the antenna is just a, the wire that's strung between two towers and it sends out electromagnetic waves at the speed of light but it's a pulsating DC current now. It's been turned back into pulsating DC, which was the original signal over here. I don't know how many of you uh, know what the Slayer circuit does with its pulsating DC, but this Slayer circuit makes wireless power. It makes uh, light bulbs light up in your hand with no sparks going to it. Since that's the signal that we want to uh, uh, amplify, and send out as far as we can we have to turn it into an alternating current and then you boost the then you boost the amps boost the frequency boost the voltage once that's once that's all done then you can turn it back into the DC the pulsating DC which it was originally and now the original pulsating DC current has been stepped up uh, with AC uh, step up phases. So if you can uh, understand this a little bit better all we're doing is taking a pulsating DC radio signal and we're increasing its power by turning it into an AC uh, by turning it into an alternating current we can then increase the power increase the voltage increase the amps and once that's all done it can be turned back into a pulsating DC and then sent out the antenna. Okay, so the original signal is going to be the same in the end. It's the same signal that we're sending out is the same as the original signal, but alternating current is required in order to boost the power and increase the power. And uh, what I didn't have in my last uh, outline or diagram was these vacuum tubes. These are the critical junction points for these um, for these uh, step up phases to take place in because without these vacuum tubes the uh, the wires would melt during these power step up phases. So, Okay I just wanted to make uh, this video to go over this new diagram of the wireless power transmitter and hopefully it makes a lot more sense now uh, to me it does anyway. So, uh, okay. Thanks for watching. And talk to you soon.